John Krause is also an independent running for Congress. He is a Pensacola small business owner with a background in ministry outreach programs. Incumbent Republican Jeff Miller of Chamakla is seeking a sixth term representing Florida's first district. He serves on the House Armed Services Committee and Veterans Affairs Committees. Mr. Krause, the same question to you, your views on lifting the ban on drilling in Florida's waters of the Gulf of Mexico. And did, did your view change after the BP spill? I believe we need to continue with uh, 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 fuel exploration in the Gulf. Uh, Florida does not permit offshore drilling in its waters. Uh, everything is out beyond those waters. Uh, so I believe that we need to continue, unlike Congressman Miller, who says we should stop all drilling in the Gulf, I believe that we need to continue uh, exploration. Thank you. And now, Mr. Miller, the same question to you. Views on lifting the ban on drilling in uh, Florida waters in the Gulf? Well, the one thing I would not do, as uh, Mr. Kraus has said on the record, and that is to allow drilling up to the state water line. Uh, we don't need to be drilling 10 miles off the coast of, of Florida. Uh, any drilling that is done has to be out. We have negotiated 125 miles off the coast of Pensacola. Uh, one thing that we need to be very cautious of is the impact that it has on the military mission. Uh, the military mission is so important at Eglin Air Force Base and talking with uh, the generals and the officers out there that have been working with uh, the Coast Guard as the BP oil spill began to grow. We asked the question, what would have happened if this had been in our own area? Basically, it would have shut Eglin and its test ranges down. That's not something that we need to allow. All right. Thank you very much. Mr. Kraus, uh, rebuttal? Yes, sir. Uh, to that effect, uh, all the years that we've been drilling in the Gulf, uh, this accident has, has prompted a lot of awareness. It has never impeded the military on their missions. Um, also, these wells that are offshore are well off of the Florida water uh, bordering uh, borders on the coast. Okay, Mr. Miller, response to that? Well, basically, there has been no impact on the military mission because there aren't any rigs in the Florida waters, uh, but the state waters go out to about uh, 10 miles, and we don't need to allow drilling rigs 10 miles off the coast of the state of Florida. All right, we've heard the candidates for U.S. Uh, Congress from Florida's 1st District answer questions provided by the Area Leagues of Women Voters. And now we give each candidate 45 seconds for a closing statement. John Krause, your opportunity for a closing statement. Folks, this country's at a crossroads it's never faced before, and we've got to do something. For the past 10 years, we've had career politicians and and incumbents telling us they promise us this, they promise us that, and they don't come through with it. It's time that we send a concise message to Washington, D.C., and let them know that they work, from, they work for us, we don't work for them. We need to start governing this country from the bottom up and not the top down. We need balanced budgets. We need people with fiscal responsibility to go up there. We don't need any more empty promises. We need to make a decision this year. If we keep protesting our government and reelect career politicians, then we have nothing to protest against because we've just endorsed our hypocr hypocrisy. I'm John Krause. I'm running for U.S. Congress, and I thank uh, WSRE for having this uh, forum tonight.